Hello and welcome to Learn with Ritu. This is Ritu talking to you and welcome to my channel. I'm here once again with a wonderful story. Tell me, who likes fairies? Do you? Did I hear a yes? Can you be louder? Yes, that's a loud enough yes. I'm sure you do. So do I. I love fairies. I love to think about them. I love to think about the things they can do. I love to imagine myself to be a fairy. And I wish to see a fairy one day. Do you wish the same? Our dear friend, Pinkalicious, definitely wishes to see a fairy. So, without further ado, let's get going. Let's read this interesting story about Pinkalicious. Story time! Story time! So today we are reading Pinkalicious Fairy House. Pinkalicious Fairy House by Victoria Kahn. It was spring, my favorite season. I love how the sky looks like cotton candy at sunset. Every spring, our garden comes alive with blossoms of every color. I know why our garden is so beautiful. It's because of the fairies. Fairies come to our yard and sprinkle fairy dust to make the plants grow. I have never seen them, but I know that they are real. I can see sparkles outside my window. This spring, I had a plan. I would see the fairies. Pinkalicious, what are you doing? Asked Peter as I collected twigs and leaves. I'm making a house for the fairies to live in. Then they can live in our garden and we will be able to see them, I said. I want to see them too. Let me help, said Peter. He brought out his shell collection. Let's bring the house here in the garden, I said. Fairies are sure to come this way. Piece by piece, we built a little house. I wove buttercups around the door. Peter made a pathway with his shells. Soon, we had a cozy home for the fairies. I couldn't wait for them to come. Every day I watched the house from my swing. I made a pond, a boat, and even a slide for the fairies to find. But the fairies did not come. When Peter saw how sad I looked, he said, Cheer up! The pink flower buds are blooming! But I wanted to see the fairies. Suddenly, I had an idea. Maybe the fairies only come out at night, I said. Maybe they only sparkle fairy dust by moonlight. I told Mommy and Daddy what I wanted to do. They let Peter and me camp out and keep watch for the fairies. That evening, Peter and I spread out our sleeping bags. 
I left the fairies a sweet snack of honeysuckle and berries. Do you think they will come? asked Peter. Yes, I said, and added in a whisper, I really, really hope so. We told each other stories until Peter fell asleep. As the night got darker, I heard crickets and owls, but not a single fairy. Once I thought I heard some soft, gentle humming. It was just Peter. He was snoring. I did everything I could to stay awake. I looked up at the moon. I counted the stars. I didn't want to miss the fairies. But as I counted the stars, my eyelids got heavy. I couldn't help it. I drifted off to sleep. The next thing I knew, I heard a bird singing. I opened my eyes. It was dawn. I heard hushed voices in the garden. Mommy and Daddy were looking at something together. How beautiful, they said. His eyes stretched. A sweet smell filled the air. All around me, colorful flowers were in full bloom. I looked at the fairy house. The honeysuckle and berries were gone. The fairies came! I cried. They came, but I missed the whole thing. Peter started to sniffle. Don't cry. Look, I said. Up in the air, I could see glimmers of light shooting across the early morning sky. Fairies! I gasped. The light shimmered brighter and brighter until it sparkled into sunshine. I knew you were real, I said. My family and I watched the sun come up. Thank you, fairies. I whispered. Wherever they were, I knew they could hear me. And that, so that is the end of the wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed reading with me as much as I enjoyed reading to you. So, till we have another beautiful story, I will say goodbye to you. Take care. Keep reading. Keep learning. Because learning is fun. So until I see you next time, this is Ritu signing off. Bye. And thanks for watching.